So what do you do? I'm a copywriter. Oh, cool. So how does copyright law work anyway? I've always wondered. No, I creatively construct words and phrases in an effort to get someone to take action. Like legal action. Got it. Advertising. It's a lot like Mad Men, except not at all. No, copywriters have nothing to do with copyright laws. Copywriters write copy. If you haven't yet figured out how to properly describe what you do as a copywriter, this video is for you. Hi there, my name is Katerina. Every week I share useful insights and tips on content marketing and writing with writers, marketers, and business owners. Subscribe to this channel and never miss what's coming next. If you tell people you're a copywriter, how do they react? Wait, let me guess. In the best case scenario, they might say, oh, so you write words for content? And in the worst case scenario, they might think you have something to do with copyright laws. Or even worse, you're a space filler. The only people who truly understand what you're doing are marketers. They know that the results of their work depend on your words. Words are more valuable than design. Words can help entrepreneurs communicate the value of their products in a way that makes people want to have them. Words can transform businesses. Words can kill organizations. Words can build new things. A copywriter is a master of words. And by words, I mean copy. What is copy? Copy is a piece of text used to market products or services. It's what copywriters write on landing pages, in emails, on billboards, in sales scripts. The main purpose of copy is to convince people to take action, sign up for a newsletter, register for a webinar, make a purchase. Copy is different from content, another marketing tool. Content wants to convince people of a certain argument that the writer is making. It's not trying to sell right away. It wants to provide value, solve problems, and move the audience to the next stage of their journey. If you want to clarify the difference between content writing and copywriting, check out my video Copywriting versus Content Writing. I'll make sure to link to it at the end of this video. Since I've mentioned the topic of content writing, you might be wondering, do copywriters write content? I'm glad you asked. Many copywriters write both content and copy and get hired to produce all kinds of content. Copy for sales pages, blog posts, emails, sales scripts, video scripts. Copywriters and content writers, however, are two different roles. If you want to know the difference between copywriters and content writers, check out my video content writers versus copywriters versus technical writers versus UX writers. I'll link to it at the end of this video. As we've just figured out, copywriters write copy. But it's not what copywriters get paid for. What do copywriters get paid for? Copywriters get paid to write down ideas. Creating copy is an easy part. It's only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to copywriting. Ideas are not easy. Exceptional ideas define marketing campaigns, transform brands, and change the way people think. Generating exceptional ideas is what a copywriter's job is all about. So how do copywriters come up with outstanding ideas? A problem with ideas is that there is no formula to get one, no granted path of success. Don Draper drank scotch all day. David Ogilvy's advice was to take a long walk, take a hot bath, or drink half a pint of claret. But the truth is, what works for one person might not work for you. There are, however, a few things that any copywriter must do to be able to come up with great ideas. Research is one of those things. Copywriters need to have a deep knowledge of their subject matter, their product, and the audience they are selling it to. This requires copywriters to collaborate with others, interview customers and experts, endlessly browse Google, read books, and do whatever it takes to open the telephone line from the unconscious to let the big idea well up within them. There are three types of researches that copywriters do. Subject matter research, 
product research and voice of the customer research. If a copywriter did a good job with their research, they can explain their topic in a way that a five-year-old can understand, they know their product inside and out, and they've discovered what matters to their customers in their customer's own voice, and know what objections these customers might have to their products and services. The next thing that a copywriter does is competitor analysis. Before crafting copy, a copywriter needs to look in detail at how their competitors talk about their solutions. What audience do they seem to be targeting? What are their offers and the benefits of buying them? What calls to action are they using? A copywriter's goal here is to see what messages their competitors are using and when they are using them, so they can consider those messages when writing their own page. Now, when a copywriter knows the topic, the product, the audience, and the market, it seems like they are ready to start writing copy, right? I wish! They should also understand the traffic that their page is going to attract. Traffic analysis. What words a copywriter puts on the page depend much on what traffic this page is going to get. There is a difference between sales pages that get created for paid traffic, organic traffic, and internal traffic. Traffic brings with it various motivations and states of awareness. A copywriter needs to keep a marketing funnel in mind when they're crafting copy for a sales page. What's a marketing funnel? Check out my video How to Map Your Content to a Marketing Funnel to get the answer to this question. I'll link to this video at the end of this video. Writing. With all that knowledge on board, a copywriter can finally start writing copy. To write copy that sells, copywriters need to make sure they say the right stuff to the right people. They need to be able to talk about complex things in a simple and understandable way, create interest when otherwise there is none, and write in a way that makes people laugh, cry, and generally just feel something. Leo Burnett said, Make it simple, make it memorable, make it inviting to look at, make it fun to read. This is a great recipe for writing copy that works, but do you know how much experience goes into being able to write like that? A ton of it! A copywriter's job doesn't end with a copy in a Google Doc. They should also collaborate with designers to make sure their message is properly conveyed with visuals. And after the copy goes live, they should also see if it performs well. If it doesn't, they need to tweak the copy, change the message to make sure they get the desired conversion rate. As you can see, copywriting is a hack of a job. To write copy that moves people to action, copywriters need to understand the marketing funnel, know the audience that their copy is intended for, have a good grasp of psychology and experience with marketing tools beyond coffee and the keyboard. Great writers are incredibly hard to find. David Ogilvy agrees with that. The most difficult people to find are those who have the capacity to be good copywriters. I have found that they always have well-furnished minds. They give evidence of exceptional curiosity about every subject under the sun. They have an above-average sense of humor. And they have a fanatical interest in the craft of advertising. Nothing has changed since 1983, when the book Ogilvy on Advertising was published. I mean, writers are easy to find. It's enough to open Fiverr and you'll get a ton of copywriters to choose from. But it's not easy to find good copywriters, neither it is easy to become one. If you're wondering how to become a successful copywriter, check out my video Copywriting Skills – What you need to master to succeed in marketing. Here are other videos that I've promised to link to. I'll see you next time with a new video. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss it. Thank you for watching. Я Катерина. Пока-пока.